Good morning guys, I thought I would vlog today because I just feel like it and it is a nursery day so I've dropped Grayson off at nursery, Steph is working on the edit for our weekly vlog all day today and I have an exciting meeting in central London about a travel job which we will hopefully be doing next year and a few other like work bits and bobs that I'm going to be doing today so I thought I would take you guys with me. So I am going to go and paint my face ready for this meeting. Here's my makeup selection for the day. Okay that is my makeup all done apart from the lipstick which I'm not going to do till I leave the house because I want to have something to eat and red lipstick and eating do not mix at all. I'm going to go and get changed and do something to my hair. I've got this problem with my hair at the moment where it every single day I'm getting this like massive like knot at the back. I don't know how it's happening. It usually happens when I'm wearing a coat so I don't know if my head's like rubbing against the back of my coat or something but it's like taking me like 40 minutes every single day to br to brush out this like massive mat. So if anyone has any like detangling advice or products that work really well or knows why it's happening please let me know because it's driving me crazy and it's making me want to chop all of my hair off. So before I go, I thought I would do a quick little OOTD. I'm wearing a Zara coat from last year, a knitted jumper from Brandy Melville, Topshop jeans, Kurt Geiger booties, and this little baby. Oh, can you see it? No. This little baby was from a resale last year, I think. I saw my friend Olivia wearing that on her Instagram or blog or something, and I was like, I need that bag. By the way, if you follow Olivia, you will shop she is an enabler just so you know i'm gonna link her down there though because her style is just incredible anyway i am gonna go say goodbye to steph need anything, need i will do um see you later steph's in the bathroom so i can't say goodbye love you Mwah. um i'm not taking my keys because i they're upstairs and i can't be bothered to go upstairs so will you let me in when i get home okay love you enjoy editing damn pop socks they are literally the bane of my life. They just pop off all the time. Oh my God, now both my pop socks have popped off my feet and it's given me a little bit of rage, I'm not gonna lie. My knees are cold. Customer service update. So windy. <laughs> Guys, look how Christmas the Oxford Street is. I've got my Google Maps and I've got about 10 minutes to get there, so I'm gonna power walk this. I've just took my meeting, it's about to start. <laughs> Lots of people <laughs> all finished up at the meeting. It was very, very exciting. It's happening in January and it's gonna be so much fun. I think I might go quickly knit to anthropology because I'm doing a gift guide at some point and there's a candle in there that I really want to put in my gift guide slash buy for myself so oh I can't get out hang on I'm in a really good mood after that meeting it was such a good meeting but yeah now I'm battling the crowds to get to anthropology because there's a couple of things that I want to get in there for my Christmas gift guide video I'm doing like a gift guide for mums um, and a blog post probably as well I think but Oxford Street is like rammed Whew. how cool is that? here it is, the best shop in the world look how nice their Christmas window is okay so I might have gone a bit overboard I started Christmas shopping and got a little bit distracted mainly candles this is my favourite candle in the whole world so one for me and others for presents and then more candles, this wrap I also found this coat which I think I want to buy for Steph to give me for Christmas. Uh oh, Steph's gonna be like, what did you buy? Just got home. Hey. <sighs> I actually broke into a sweat carrying that shopping home. Good meeting though, yeah? It was so good, yeah. Good, good. Just gonna grab some sushi and then head up to the office with Stefan. No. Working day, woof woof. Yeah. Okay, up to the office we go. I have a very important package in my hands. This is the new designs of my Mags London makeup bags, the final versions, um, which I think we're gonna try and put live at the beginning of December. Um, 
but I'm gonna open them now and just check everything's okay. I've gotta write out labels for them, I've gotta sign some of the Mags London prints and we have to make sure the website's all ready because I think we're trying to launch that either this weekend or the one after. And then I have to write the copy for my video that's going up today. It is a Christmas party wear lookbook. And then what else have I got to do? I've got to plan my Christmas gift guide. Um, I'm just waiting on one more thing to arrive before I can take the photos. So I can't take the photos today, which is annoying. And then I'm going to tidy up the house a little bit and just give it a little zhuzh and put some Christmas shopping away. It's all very Christmassy today. So I'm just listing all of the clothes that I wore in my party season lookbook in the description box. This is the bit that takes ages. <laughs> Oh, I look really sweaty. I've just um, finished doing all the bits and pieces that I needed to do to upload my video today. So that's scheduled to go up in an hour. And now I thought it would be a good idea to just tidy up my desk a bit because it's gross. And I don't know about anyone else, but I find it much easier to work if everything's quite tidy around me. So I'm just stacking up some of the letters that you guys have written for us that we haven't had a chance to open yet which we will hopefully be opening this weekend and we found this and we both love it so much it's like a really cool little um picture that someone's done of us and we love it so much that we're gonna get it framed i think thank you so much to whoever made that it's so cool you know me i could not resist a cheeky little flat lay on a nursery day Flat lay equals nursery day, basically. Or well, nursery day equals flat lay, that's what I was trying to say. Oh, I need coffee. Check it out. So I've got my little Christmas plate, which I bought especially for flat lays. Um, this candle is gingerbread. This candle is um, fir tree, like Christmas tree. This is from Kath Kidston, and it's so beautiful. It plays Merry Christmas. Let me play it for you, actually. Gracie loves this. Ooh, it's hard to do it with one hand. How cute is that? The wreath is Kath Kitson as well. And then my coat, which I bought for my Christmas present from Steph, which he's very kindly said that I am allowed to wear before Christmas. My lookbook just went live. I'm really excited to put this video out because I feel like both Steph and I worked really, really hard on this video and I'm really pleased with it. And um, I guess that's partly to do with the fact that he is an editing genius. I just want to say a massive thank you to the Clifton House Hotel who let us shoot the video there. It was a perfect location and it's just so beautiful. Um, right now I'm doing something I can only do when Grayson isn't here. I am going through his Christmas presents. I went a bit crazy the other day and did an online Christmas present shop for him. Um, I feel like part of the reason why I'm so into Christmas this year is because I feel like this year has been all about baby loss and then frantically wanting to be pregnant again and I'm really trying not to think about it even though I'm thinking about it all the time so I feel like Christmas gives me like a focus that isn't work that is just something to enjoy and and focus on rather than like obsessing over getting pregnant which I am not by the way so I did an online shop for Gracie and went a bit crazy because I know it's only November but in my defense next month's really busy for work for us and we're traveling as well so I thought if I don't do it now then I probably won't get a chance to do a big bulk shop while he's not there and I feel like I've got quite a lot for him. Um, this isn't all of the stuff, but because his birthday is just after Christmas, I think I'm gonna split the presents up between birthday and Christmas. And also because we don't have, well, my side of the family is just my sister. So I feel like he's kind of missing out. I know he doesn't know, but I feel like he's kind of missing out on presents from like his grandma and granddad on my side, aunties and uncles, um, that type of thing. Um, so, I, I'll show you guys what I've got him so far, just in this little pool. I got him a Buzz Lightyear fancy dress costume because he loves Buzz Lightyear right now. We've got a Playmobil ambulance because 
Playmobil is so good. <laughs> it's mainly for me that present, to be honest. I got a dinosaur stamp set because I'm trying to get him into arts and crafts a bit more, just because I feel like it's a really good way of like setting up an activity for him to do, and then kind of I can hopefully have a few minutes to do some work or have a cup of tea or something so I'm trying to get him in, into a bit more creative type things. Um, some speedo sharks, these are really cool so they are for swimming um, and they kind of like, it's like a game you can play where you go underwater to get them. Um, Steph's going to be using these though because I don't like going underwater and I hate deep water so I don't want that to rub off on Gracie but I just thought these would be fun because he doesn't really have any toys for swimming yet. Um, and then I got a Ben and Holly uh, elf thing. <laughs> He's obsessed with Ben and Holly right now. Um, that being said, I also got him the Ben and Holly Christmas book, which I think I'll probably read to him before Christmas because it doesn't make much sense to give it to him as a Christmas present. And I also got the Snowman pop-up book. I'm quite tempted to go and see. They do like um, a show of this in London and I really want to go and see it, but I don't know if Gracie would sit through that or if he would get bored. Maybe he'll surprise me, who knows. Um, Whew. that's just the first little bulk <laughs> I'll show you guys the next little bulk now okay so this is the next lot of stuff firstly the advent calendar it's a Playmobil advent calendar and it has toys in it instead of chocolate and I didn't want to get him a calendar with chocolate in it because I didn't want him to think that he was going to get chocolate every day but now I'm thinking oh shit now he's going to think he's going to get a toy every single day so I'm not sure what's the, the best what's the best out of those two but I just thought this was cute because you get the set of toys at the end and you can it kind of goes with the rest of his Playmobil things as we seem to have started collecting Playmobil now so and he really likes the intricate um like he likes small toys he likes little toys that have pieces and stuff so I thought he'd really like that anyway although I am prepared for a meltdown when he realizes he can only open one window <laughs> I got him this little seeding design your own superhero cape um pack and I think I'm going to give this to him on Christmas Eve because it's quite a nice like thing activity to do together on Christmas Eve and my whole plan of like getting him a bit more into arts and crafts and his love for superhero stuff has kind of married in this so I am looking forward to doing that with him I think he's gonna really like that and then I got him a little rugby ball because I thought maybe when we go for our walk on Christmas day we could play a bit of catch depending on how cold it is I got him the wise old elf in a helicopter. He's obsessed with wise old elf, strangely. <laughs> he keeps me asking me to dress up as wise old elf. I also got some little stickers for his Christmas Eve stocking. I might also use some of these to give away because we're gonna do a little uh, toddler's Christmas party and I've got like little paper airplanes for them. So I might give them some paper airplanes and stickers and some cupcakes and stuff. Um, and then I've got some little action figures. Now, these were so cheap from Amazon. Um, I think they were like five pounds or something. They're really, really cheap, but he tends to get bored of things like this quite quickly. Um, he'll carry each thing around for like a week and then the next week he won't give a crap about it. Um, so I just got the cheap ones for now. This one lights up, I think. Oh yeah. You light up. And then the last thing is this jelly cat dinosaur because you can't really do stockings without a teddy on top. That's what my mum always used to do and whenever I woke up on Christmas night and my stocking was full and I had a teddy on top I used to get really excited. And so I thought he would just like that because he's into all things like boyish now so dinosaur seems a good way to go. <sighs> and that is it. I don't know how this video turned into a toddler Christmas haul, but it did. <laughs> um, I don't normally do this much shopping. I'm aware that I've done a lot of sh Christmas shopping today. I don't normally shop like this at all. I need to hide all of this before Gracie gets home. So I've got to hide it somewhere where he's not going to see. And he gets into everything, so that is a task in itself. <laughs> New OOTD! I'm off to the supermarket and then I'm going to get Grayson. I'm wearing hat from Hush, the anthropology coat that I bought today, um, same Brandy Melville jumper, Topshot leggings and Asda boots. Let's go! I'm not gonna lie, last year I was really, really terrified of driving in the dark, like really, really anxious about it. And I have been for the first couple of times this year, but now I'm feeling so much more confident with it. I don't know what changed, maybe just like, 
doing it a little bit more because obviously it's dark by the time Grayson finishes nursery now, so I have to drive in the dark. I just feel like less scared of it now, um, which is so nice because for ages I just couldn't drive in the dark, like Steph would always have to do it. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and get some food for tonight and then I'm gonna go get the boy, yay. Just got to nursery, so I'm gonna go and get the dude. I bought him a mini Christmas tree for his room <laughs> because I am a loser. Yuck! Look who's back! Back again! Wah, yeah, 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 yeah! Gracie's back! <laughs> <laughs> Gracie, there's a monster on your bed. Is it friendly? It's a friendly monster, yeah. Do you want to see him? Yeah, he's happy. Did you have fun at nursery? Yeah. There's a monster on your bed. <laughs> oh my goodness. <gasps> what do you say to mummy and daddy? Thank you. Hello. Hello. I found it. But it was just the next spot I found it though. Do you like it? I wish I can have King Crystal, but the other one is broken. Oh my god, it's dummy. <laughs> Should we put it on your shelf, look? <laughs> oh no. Put it on. He can't wear your backpack. <laughs> Gracie, don't put it on him. <laughs> Gracie, how was nursery today? I've got a, 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 a monster so you can show this. It's very really scary. Pardon? It's very really scary. What is a monster? Oh, Yoda! You've got Yoda! <laughs> yeah. we got it! Oh, we just got home. I'm Yoda. <laughs> I've got a letter from nursery saying that Grayson's in the nativity this year. I, I'm not in the nativity. Day. You are? No, I'm not. God help I don't them all like day. Him. Who wants to help me with the cooking of the dinner? I, not me. The monster will And in a minute, it's going to smell like Christmas. And he's going to get an ouchie for that. Yeah, you don't want to put him on it because it'll get an ouchie and set the house on fire. Gracie's recently started talking back to me, which is really, really weird. I feel like I've got like a proper mini human now. <sighs> right, dinner time. Don't you wish you could just do this? Dinner's ready, boys. By the way, guys, Gracie has these really cute little Christmassy leggings. And um, one of our friends has a website where she makes and sells these. She uses the same seamstress that we used to use for Mags London. And the website is called Cozy Cub. So I'll link the website. <laughs> I'm just filming Grayson's ass. <laughs> I'll link the website and her Instagram down below for you guys. And go and check them out because they're really, really cute. And they fit really nicely and they're really nicely made. So. No. Look at us, Gracie. We match. Grayson has come home from nursery crazy. Right, it's your bedtime. Dinner is done. Washing up is done. Bath time is done. Just bedtime now. Did you bring Yoda? Yeah. You bring that one. The snowman? Yeah. And, and I want that one. It's pop-up. Mummy, you can you can read that one. Thanks. The big one. Yeah. Okay. Big one. So look then. The night before Christmas. <gasps> what do you think those are? <laughs> oh my god, no. Snowflakes. Yeah. Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring. Not even a mouse. Good night. <laughs> Up to the office we go. I wonder who could be up here. Hmm, mm. the man that lives here. <laughs> Imagine we just a random man. Right, it is time to write out the. Oh. 
So Steph and I have this um, Christmas tradition, I guess you could call it, every single year. Pretty much every night it is acceptable to drink whiskey if you're drinking a hot toddy. <laughs> yeah, it's basically the rules in the Michelac household, you have to. Tell it's, what it is. You can't... It's, oh yeah, okay, so it's whiskey, hot water, lemon, honey, and I forgot to put the honey in. Cloves. That's why they're so gross tonight. And cloves. <laughs> and cloves, yeah. But they're really nice. I don't know why I'm holding it up right next to my face. It's probably because I've poured a bit too much uh, whiskey in the last one. I'm gonna sign off here because I am getting a wisdom tooth through at the back and it really, really hurts. And this side of my mouth is like really sore right now. And we're about to watch the BFG on DVD. Good night. I've watching the DVD. I haven't I know. watched a DVD in years. Doesn't it feel really like, do you feel young oh, again? So, yeah. <laughs> my mouth hurts and I'm gonna go drink whiskey and cuddle my husband now. So I'll sign off here and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye Good guys. night. I don't know why, but I'm finding this hilarious. <laughs>